So can y'all please explain to me why the Raiders just released Antonio Brown? Well, those of you who may not be familiar quite with the story, this is what happened. Antonio Brown, <clears throat> he missed training camp. He missed a training camp. So they find him. I think it was like $40,000 for missing training camp, like a practice or just training camp in general, right? So then he missed a practice. We talking about practice, man. We ain't talking about the game. We talking about practice. Okay. So the general manager sends him a letter. Uh, Mike Mayotte sends Antonio Brown this letter. You know, telling him, you know, those of you who may have been late to work before, like I've been late to work before, know about the disciplinary letters that you get when you're late to work. Or if you're absent and you don't show up uh, without an excuse. You know what I'm saying? So, but in the NFL, you know, y'all got all his money. You know, his uh, letter is not just, oh, you need to sign this uh, right here. <coughs> it's, uh, we're going to find you again. So he got fined again um, a ridiculous amount of money. I think it was like um, 50000 or like 53000 something like that. Um, it was close to like 50000 and so, four days after he missed practice, right? So, first, let's just recap real quick. He missed the training camp. Then he missed the practice. Then four days after he got his second uh, his, his second war warning, his second warning, let's call it a warning. He Four days after that, he missed another practice. And in between that, he put out a tweet like, you know, uh, when your own team hating you, you know, something to that nature. Y'all can look it up. You know what I'm saying? And then he started talking like his team was hating on him. Right? The Raiders. And so, uh, then, mind you, this whole time he's been having this thing with this football helmet. And he's already threatened not to uh, play football this year. He was going to retire. All his BS. <clears throat> and so... He goes to a practice after missing his after missing his second practice, and they're scrimmaging or whatever the case may be, and he's yelling and talking to the general manager, who sent him the letter about him, you know, having an unexcused absence from practice, and this is what uh, set everything off or pushed everything over the cliff, right? So they're at practice. There's players out there. There's other coaches. And he tells, he's upset that he's getting these fines. And apparently he tells the general manager that I will punch you in the face. And he takes the football and he kicks it away and say, now give me a fine or find me for that. That's what he says. Find me for that. You know, and as of this morning, as of 30 minutes ago, actually, the Oakland Raiders released Antonio Brown from the team. Now, my thing is, this is going to be a lot of people. I'm not a Raiders fan. I have no dog in this game. Let's just understand that, too. I'm not an Antonio Brown fan. I'm, you know what I mean? So, <clears throat> just a, a part of the story is missing. And if you know this part of the story, please comment below. The question I want to raise is this. Why did Antonio Brown miss those two practices? Why? And the, the training camp. Like, why? Did he miss the training camp because of the helmet issue? I need me a helmet on my face. Anyway, uh, <laughs> did he miss training camp, the one training camp, because of the helmet issue? I think that's what the reason was. Okay, if that's what it was, okay, it is what it is on that one. He can't, and, and, and through this process, remember, he, he had a press conference where he apologized at one point in between these fines. So then, he missed the first practice. He gets his letter. He gets his fine. <clears throat> and so I'm thinking, like, 
why did he miss the first practice? So, what I think, I don't know this to be facts at all. I'm speculating now, right? I don't know what happened, but my thing is this. Antonio Brown was probably upset that the general manager didn't reach out to him and inquire, hey, Antonio, why did you miss this practice? Versus, I mean, why why did you miss this practice? He didn't talk to him about it or ask him what was the reasoning behind it. He just gave him a fine. And I think Antonio Brown, I think, this is me speculating all this right here, you know, that he probably felt like, yo, you need to ask me why. I, I missed practice probably for a good reason. I didn't have, you know, the time or whatever to uh, let you know in a, uh, in a reasonable amount of time or give you a heads up of what was happening. I just had to miss practice. Um, I don't know. <laughs> now, to the contrary of that or the other part of that, is that like so if you got all these resources and all this money and all this uh, accessibility to whatever you want if you're Antonio Brown you could have reached out to your boss and said hey I have an emergency I need to handle this right away I will not be able to make it to practice and even if you say that you still may get fined but at least the team knows what's going on to a certain extent. Even if you don't tell them details, they know like, hey, Antonio had a an emergency happen, come up. He just can't make it today. We're going to send him this fine anyway. It's, kind, it's more understandable. <clears throat> and so when Antonio Brown gets these two fines and he shows up to practice finally, he's probably fed up. And he's probably whatever was happening outside of football. And it probably just took a toll on him. And when he seen the general manager, he was like, I'm not taking this. So he kind of felt like he was upset, obviously, to threaten to punch the man in the face. You know? <clears throat> and so, you know, you get so fed up with some things because you got X, Y, and Z going on outside of your career. And then your career is like jamming you up, jamming you up, jamming you up. And you're like, hold on, ain't nobody even asked me. Ain't nobody even reached out to me and said, hey, what's going on? Are you okay? Are you all right? That could be the story. Now, the flip side of that is this. <laughs> Antonio Brown's a diva. According to all the uh, uh, <coughs> main uh, media outlets, he wants to do things his way. He's, uh, he's more worried about uh, his stats than team success. According to people you know, closer to the NFL than I am <clears throat> and close and according to reporters. So I think there is perceived just looking at everything and listening to it as it unfolds without knowing what happened behind the scenes with Antonio Brown. It looks like that Antonio was just at home chilling and he was like, I ah, forget the Raiders. I, I, I'm, I'm so good. I'm so good that I don't need to go to practice. Practice? You kidding me? Practice? I don't need to go to practice. You know? Shoot, training camp? That's for rookies. I'm a vet. I'm a pro bowler. You know? Shoot, I'm the most talented receiver in the league. How they gonna find me and and and, and, and how they gonna do this and do that? I can I can I can see, you know, somebody with some power who think they have power, but you really don't because you don't own the Raiders. You don't own no football team, Antonio Brown. You know what I'm saying? You're not in the position of power, even with the money. Didn't we just go through this with LeBron James and trying to get his number changed to number six so uh, AD could wear number 23 and Nike said no? Because we, we run this. You don't run this. You don't own this. We own this. So Antonio Brown probably like, I got all this talent. I got all this money. They need me. I don't need them. I'm chilling at the house. That's the perspective, if you watch the media, of how they're portraying Antonio Brown. Could it be true? 
possible possibility you know or could the contrary be true that he had an emergency come up and he had to take care of some business and he just didn't let you know his employer know which is not an excuse he should have let him know you know i'm just trying to let people see the other side of the story because right now we only really getting it one way and we don't know what uh antonio brown was doing and why he missed practice two times so if you know or you know some insight please comment below because i'm interested in finding out like what i'm like dude like what were you doing why didn't you go to practice come on man and just practice we're talking about practice not the game not, not the game where you know <clears throat> where you can get a concussion not the game you know that that when you go out there and antonio brown running around run around the middle boom get jacked up we talking about not the game he go out there and give 110 percent mess around go catch a bomb and, and, and didn't really catch it and the call get reversed and not the game we're talking about practice the man missed practice what y'all think, man? What really happened? Where was Antonio Brown?